Yeah, it's been super. Um, the weather is lovely as well, which always helps. But um, I think all the boys have been really positive and keen to learn and have really helped each other. So it's been, been a great week. Uh, but obviously we have a final assessment tomorrow, so I don't want to say too much, but it's been super. Obviously you're still playing. Is coaching something you like to get into obviously in the future? Yeah, I think um, Corey Ian put me in a position probably about five years ago. Uh, got me into full-time coaching. So I've been at it about five years, so... Um, you know, I've, I've been doing a degree as well, so coming here this week, I've been up another level, you know, in terms of doing the B part two. So, you know, I'm just learning more about the, you know, how to put on the tactical side of the game, whereas I've probably done more technical drills in the past. Um, so, you know, it's been a great learning curve, and uh, you know, it's been a good experience. What advice would you give to any players out there at the minute thinking about going down this route? Um, well, I, I, th- I think that obviously I'm only 32, but I think that I think it's important if you want a career in coaching that you know you you take your time and you try and uh, learn learn the trade and you know get experience and get involved in it as much as you can. Maybe when you're in your company, I started getting involved around 27, and I think it's it's good you, you start to understand the game a little bit more. And I think when you come into these courses, can only enhance your education of how to coach football.